This is daughter of Christ. Dear Muslims, you tell us that you worship Allah alone and not Muhammad. You tell us he's just a human being, a messenger, and not God. And the biggest sin in Islam is to partner human beings with Allah. It's called shirk. And so it would be wrong to partner Muhammad with Allah. Well, if that's what you believe, I encourage you to actually open the Quran. Because for a God who does not like to be associated with partners, Allah has a habit of partnering himself with Muhammad a whole lot. Presenting the double act of Allah and his messenger. Obey Allah and his messenger. An announcement from Allah and his messenger. A war from Allah and his messenger. If anyone disobeys Allah and his messenger, an immigrant to Allah and his messenger, what Allah and his messenger promised us. Help Allah and his messenger. Wait, Allah needs help? How can that be? His messenger might need help, he's a human being, but Allah too? Well, I guess since Allah and Muhammad is a double act, if one of them needs help, the other one needs it too. They opposed Allah and his messenger. Immunity from Allah and his messenger. When a matter is decided by Allah and... Guess who? You guessed it, his messenger. Wage war against Allah and his messenger. The spoils of war belong to Allah and his messenger. Well, how do you give the spoils of war to Allah? You can't send them to the sky, can you? So where would they go? Yep. To his messenger. Be not forward in the presence of Allah and his messenger. So Allah and his messenger have the same presence now? Isn't that shirk? They should please Allah and his messenger. Allah and his messenger to judge between them. But I thought Allah is the judge. It's one of his 99 divine names. Number 28 here. The judge. I guess he's sharing that one with his messenger. Forbidden by Allah and his messenger. The bounty with which Allah and his messenger had enriched them. Wow, I thought only Allah can enrich people with bounty. It's number 89 of his 99 divine names. The enricher. Wow, Allah sharing lots of divine attributes with his messenger. That's not just shirk. That's double shirk, as Hatun would say. This was a preview of Allah's and his messenger's double act. We couldn't show the whole act because Allah partners himself with his messenger a staggering 59 times in the Quran. Dear Muslims, how can you say Allah is the only God when in the tragic comedy that is the Quran, he functions as a double act so frequently and even shares divine attributes with his messenger? Who are you really worshipping? To answer that question, let's look at this one. That you may believe in Allah and his messenger and aid him. Aid him? Which him? Allah or his messenger? The Arabic just says him. So which one? Well, we've already seen Allah can ask for help too, so it could be either. And revere him. Again, which him? Allah or his messenger? It could well be either. And declare his glory morning and evening. Oh, whose glory? Allah or his messenger? It doesn't say. It just says his glory. Surely it means Allah. It can't mean his messenger. That would be triple shirk. Let's see what the messenger says about this. The prophet says, Who recites blessings upon me, Ten times in the morning and ten times in the evening will obtain intercession. Wow, so it's Muhammad whose name should be on Muslims' minds and lips, morning and evening, ten times. Oh dear, I had such high hopes for that verse. But all is not lost. Allah has one last thing left that's hopefully not also shared by his messenger. Surely it's him alone who Muslims speak to in their prayer. Only God should be addressed in prayer, right? And to speak to a human being in prayer is shirk, right? Sadly, 
Muslims address Muhammad directly in every single prayer to Allah, as we can see here. We certainly hope Allah can forgive himself for all the shirk he has committed, for the divine attributes he shared with his messenger, and for all the times he associated himself with Muhammad. Except that he can't, because according to his own surah 4 verse 116, he does not forgive association with him, but can forgive anything else. That is the ultimate paradox in Allah's life. He makes association with him the one unforgivable sin and then commits it. Muslims, when will you leave this madness? <laughs>